Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes, today I just want to show you how to design a certificate, a custom certificate for your client, either a company or just kind of you know certificate they ask you to design. But for this particular tutorial, I just want you to sit back and watch. This one is going to be a certificate for recognition. Okay. yes and i'm going to show you how to design a certificate for a, a, a for your company maybe a company asks you to design a certificate for you know for, for for their employees and those kind of things yes and that is what i just want to show you today yes so let's just move to our photoshop and let's do it so there is the photoshop that we have to with there is a photoshop where i've just launched my own if you don't launch your own just launch your own and follow so i'll go to file then i'll go to new okay then i'll go to international paper and this one i'll call a certificate okay certificate yes and i'm going to use a3 because that is what they asked me for then i'll click okay and i don't want it landscape i don't want it portrait i want to landscape so i'll go to file i'll come to image rotation then i'll go to 90 clockwise this way you see this is what i'll have beautiful so the next thing i have to do is that i just have to work with my background so i have downloaded one particular background that maybe you can also download it or you can just search and then i'll put the link below so that you can also get that particular background and download that one we call it team for certificate you get that it's just a team for your certificate and then i've just downloaded it from the net okay so this is how i want the background to be but what i have to do is that i just want to make it so that it will come clear you know it will show up more so i'll just reduce the distance to somewhere 15 15 is too distant okay okay let me have it like this for now 29 okay so the next thing i have to do is to work with my background so the next thing i have to do is to pick a rectangular marking tool over here then i will draw something like this over there like this okay and then i'll change i'll close up the field then i'll open a stroke for that and the stroke i'll make it 31 it's okay for me sorry 31 like this okay yes and then the next thing i have to do is to move it somewhere here so that it will in line with the edges over there okay so this is how i'll have it like this so let me this, this little bit let me increase it a little bit like this okay so i think this one is okay for me so the next thing i have to do is that uh, i just want to make some shape over there so that i will have my system very clear so i'll come and pick a rectangular market tool again then i'll hold what shift and draw something like this okay yes then when i draw something like that i'll move it to somewhere here okay then i'll press ctrl t and i'll come to over here that's angle and i'll make that angle angle 45 okay so i'll have it like that okay then i'll move it in like this so that it will go somewhere here okay so i'll have something like this so this one i'll duplicate it by pressing ctrl g and then i'll come back and click here and go over here then i'll close up the field then i'll open up a what a stroke like this and that stroke i'll make it uh, some number okay i think this one is okay okay let me just let me make it 35 35 like this it's okay so i'll just move it in a little bit like this okay this way you see it so i love it this way so the next thing i have to do is that i just want to group that two and i'll call it one like this okay and then the next thing i have to do is to press ctrl g to duplicate it then i'll hold ctrl and move it down here 
down here okay yes so i'll hold shift to select or then i'll move it in small okay like this you get that yes so and then i'll let this one come over here and then this one should go over here you get that so the next thing i have to do is that uh, i just want to duplicate the top one by pressing ctrl j and then i'll let it come over here okay and then i'll change this stroke color to white i'll change it to white like this then i'll have something like this you get that yes so let's work with this one so this one i'll change that one and i'll make that one color white like this then i'll move it in like this okay yes so this one is will be like this and then i'll let that one i'll move that one down down like this okay and then the top one i'll move that one on top like that and then i will duplicate the yellow stroke line there and then i will change that one to to white like this okay then i'll move that one to like this okay like this it's okay you get that yes so i can save my work so this is just a, a process of making the background creating the background for your certificate yes so i'll have it like this and then what i have to do is that uh, this particular one i'll just come and select that one i'll go to fx and i'll go to drop shadow and then i'll drop the shadow to somewhere here like this okay this is a shadow then i'll click ok and then i'll come over to this one then i'll go to drop shadow and i'll make it that way again and i love it so that is just the process uh, of getting the certificate done so i'll group all of them in one this thing and i'll call it shape okay i'll call it shape then i'll have it somewhere like this okay yes i the next thing i have to do is to is to duplicate it like this okay when i duplicate it then i'll hold shift control and then move it over here it should be somewhere here okay then i'll control t i'll press control t to and i'll come to flip horizontally like this and i'll flip it vertically like that okay so i'll have it like that over there but what i have to do is that the 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 the, 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 the shadow over there is too much so i have to let it go in like that okay then i'll just copy it, that one and come and paste it on this one too then i'll have it like this okay yes so and then after that when i have something like this i cannot call it background okay always group your work in one instance so that you can understand what it really means when you have a good work yes then i'll have it like that so the next thing i have to do is go and pick my listing over here so i'll pick certificate over here then i'll come and paste it like that yes so the certificate should be somewhere here and the size is 144 i love it it's okay then the next thing i have to do is to pick off recognition yes then I'll come and paste that one too, like that, and then it should be like this, and it should be regular, and the size should be somewhere this. Then I'll make it come over here and it should be like this, okay? Then I'll make it so uh, I don't want it to be too bold, uh, okay? So for now, let me just make it like this, and let's see. So the next thing I have to do is to come and pick. ABM graphics uh, Rokana is um, okay 
so if you grab the rock corners that one should be black okay it should be black and that one should be somewhere 24 and that one should be here let me just zoom it out so that you see what i'm doing so i'll have it like this and i'm using poppins yes i'm using poppins for the for this one maybe in the process i'll show you more and that one i just want it to be like this and then let me have it like this okay so the next thing i have to do is to come and pick the name over here which is alasan abdul rahim then i'll paste it over here then i'll have something like this okay and then i'll make it 48 i'll just make it 50 okay 50 50 like that and then i'll come over and pick this one and then i'll come and paste that one too over here okay so that i'll have it like this and then i'll just customize it like that and i want all to be capitals then i'll make it 24 make it 18 like that and it should be somewhere here okay yes so i'll come and pick Dauda Fataya, CEO of ABM Graphics. Yes, and I'll come and put her over here. She's the CEO. She's the CEO for ABM Graphics. And I'll come and pick Alas Abrahim. Eh? Alas, eh? Alas Ambarakisu. He's the founder of ABM Graphics, and she also supposed to be over there. Okay. So I'll have her uh, somewhere like right here. Then I'll have her uh, somewhere like right here. Okay, show you here. Then I'll pick a rectangular marking tool. Then I'll just draw. I hope I'm not fast in our course. I'm running out of time and I don't want the video to be too long. Okay. Yes. So I'll have something like this. And then I'll duplicate it. Then I'll have something over here like this yes yes so i'll just move that particular this thing over here then i'll just move it to uh, my this thing is okay i'll just move it to somewhere here like that and it should be in line with this one okay so let's let me just finish up those things and let's come so let's come back to see Okay, so that's all the information then the next thing i have to do is to pick another one over here and that one should be somewhere here like this okay like this we get that then i will change it change the color to this okay then i'll have something like this over there and then i will just make it like this so the next thing i have to do is that i want it to be to do i want to have some kind of layout and that layout should be beautiful and that layout should follow with the certificate so that's why i have these two guidelines okay so i don't want anything to go uh, over this particular listing so the next thing i have to do is to pick up this one this one then i'll move it in like this okay should be like that then i can decide to increase the distance to somewhere 30 24 okay so that through printing it can be able to see okay so 24 and then should be somewhere here so let's let me do the line uh, uh, alignment over here so this one should go with this one so this one should go with this one okay yes and then this one should go top this one should go top okay then you have it something like this you get that yes so let's come back to here so this one to making it 24 will not make the distance go out so i will also make that one 24 and should be somewhere here and then the name 
and that particular line over there she, she should come okay so i have some the name of this one okay commit this one and the name was the name the name is here so i'll just move it down okay just move it down then i'll have it come over here okay and then this one should also come down it should be selected then you have it like this okay and then this one i'll let it come over there then i'll change it to this okay so i'll make this one color like this so that it will go with each other okay so the next thing i have to do is to go and open up one particular uh this thing some shapeless this thing that i downloaded yes and then i'll just come and remove the background i don't want the background yes and then i'll just pick up one of them let me just pick up this one okay i'll just pick that one and come and put it over here okay then i'll make it bigger small so i'll have it like this okay yes so the next thing i have to do to this particular thing is that i'll just come out create a solid color over here and that particular solid color should be this one should be red then i'll right click and then create a clipping mask on it like this then i'll change the distance to what to multiply you see that you see that has appeared okay so so when i change it to multiply like that and the next thing I have to do is to come and select this one, select this one, then I will come and click on this one. You see that you get that one, you get it. Then that one, I will add white to it. I just want to make it white over there. I just want to make it white, okay? Then I'll have something like that. Then I'll just transform it by holding Shift Alternate. I don't want it to be too big, though. yes, I just want it to be too small and that one should be somewhere here okay so i just want to make some this small question over here founder of ebm graphic is that's too big you get that so what i have to do is i just want to reduce that one so that to follow up mm -hmm. yes i just always make your work neat and beautiful yes so this way so you can have it something like this over there okay so then after that we gotta remove uh, the guidelines so this is just a simpler way of designing a certificate and this particular certificate is called certificate of uh, you want to recognize someone good worker or someone this thing you, you get that yes so there is kind of certificate you can design for the film we get that yes so this is how this designing this certificate we, we usually do it in photoshop okay so we have just come to the end of this tutorial how to design a certificate for a rock on a rock to recognize someone good work and those kind of thing yes so thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics have a nice day watch out for the next tutorial and i know you will love it and i'll give you more and more on how to design certificate different certificate in this particular channel please share and subscribe and please and please i've gotten an award from a uh, golden eyes and leadership awards and i want you to vote me please vote me even one Please, please, have a nice day. Bye-bye.